Hey everyone, Face Fusion just announced and released a huge update to their app today, which brings it to version 2.3.0. Let me just start by showing you an example of what it can now do. Welcome to Face Fusion 2.3, where you can literally put words into their mouth. Pretty cool, huh? All done simply within the app. Before I continue, if you have never used Face Fusion or are unfamiliar with the interface, Please take a look at one of these other videos that I will have linked below that go into great depth on installing the software and every single little detail about the interface. Now let's take a look at the new version. First, opening terminal, inputting my multiple command line, and waiting for that to run. All right, now I just open up that URL in the browser, which I already have typed in here. And there we go. You can now see that it's Face Fusion 2.3.0. Otherwise, the only difference you should see right away is the lip syncer option in the frame processors. As with the other frame processors, it works independently from the others, so you can run only the lip sync without having to do a face swap. And that's what we're going to do. First, we'll turn off the face swapper, and then turn on the lip syncer. This will bring up the lip syncer model below, and then there are zero options other than the pre-selected one of Wave to Lip GAN. Next, we choose our target video as per usual. And then for the audio, you can easily just drag and drop it onto the source box. And to start off, that's it. All you have to do is hit start. And you can watch how fast it goes. And actually, I just realized I do not need to do that long of a clip because the audio itself is only, I think, five seconds or so. Yeah, five seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this down. You can see that it's 30 frames for the output. So 30 times five is 150. So I'll just add a little bit extra. And we'll put this to 165 for a half second more. Doing it that way. So I'm going to do that one more time just so we don't have to waste the time with seeing the rest of the video. But here we go. And this should be much faster even. Let's see real quick here. I award you no points and may God have mercy on your soul. Not pretty good. It was actually even faster than doing a regular face swap. It's a bit pixelated. So we're going to turn on Face Enhancer and run it again to see if that cleans it up a bit. Right, so let's run that again. This one's going to take quite a bit longer because it's actually having to do the Face Enhancer afterward. And don't worry, I'm not going to show you the whole thing. All right, so let's take a look and see if that improved it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Yeah, I think it worked pretty well. All right, instead of showing you every step of the process of bringing in a bunch of videos and audio and rendering it out, I'm going to just show you my outputs for a bunch of different things I tried and explain the differences really quick. Uh, and one other thing, normally I would actually not be using Box. I would have this on Occlusion and have Box turned off. Mostly just because, like you can see even in that shot, how the hair is covering her face a bit and it just would work better, but I'm not doing any actual face swaps right now, so it doesn't matter too much. So let's close these up for now. I wanted to first show you this one, how it does a great job of continuing the audio across different shots in the same video. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. It's nothing special, but it's nice to see that it works well. Here's a quick one using video from the movie Out Cold and adding in the infamous Inconceivable from The Princess Bride. The video itself is a bit quick and stuttery, but it works well. Inconceivable! And you can see it works even better with the face enhancer turned on. Inconceivable! Here's something I thought would be super simple. A pretty static shot of a girl just smiling and grinning. Well, 
here's the output using Ralph Wiggum from The Simpsons. Class, in what year was one plus one? The answer is the amazing Ralph. It just doesn't seem to know what to do with her teeth. And face enhancing doesn't seem to make it much better. Class, in what year was one plus one? The answer is the amazing Ralph. Here's another thing that doesn't work all too well. Class, in what year was one plus one? The answer is the amazing Ralph. Apparently, the tracking for the lip sync isn't as good as the actual face swapping one. So with so much movement on the face, it's a bit distorted. And don't even try using a video like this. Because of the angle, it was only able to track for maybe the first half second before she turned her head. But don't worry, there are plenty of great use scenarios for this new feature. I just wanted to be honest with this and show that it's not software that will work perfectly for you in every single instance. Here's a quick fun one where I used Eleven Labs to make the voice. I am Gandalf. And by the way, you'll want to make sure that you do pick the correct reference image. Otherwise, it would have automatically chosen Sean Ashmore to change instead of Ian McKellen. And here's one more quick fun one. My cat's breath smells like cat food. Now for something different. First, taking this video. I want to add voice to her at the beginning and towards the end, so there are a few options. Cut it into two different video clips and then create two separate audio clips and then edit it together afterward. You can also just create two video clips by figuring out which frames they are and only output those frames, but that's just too much math. Or what I'm going to do in this situation is create the audio with 11 labs and just pause for a bit between the two parts to have dead airspace. And here's what I got, both regular and enhanced. Oh my god, I'm like so pretty. Everybody look at me. <laughs> but bye now. Now for something a bit more fun and challenging. I'm going to use Eleven Labs once again for the voice. Let's take a look at another clip from Outcold that I want to use. Because I want them both to say something, I will have to make two separate videos and then edit them together. The reason being that any audio that is in the source will be stripped from it when creating the output. The easiest way to do it is to first create the audio for Rick and then only output the frames up until just after he would be done talking. I'm going to open up the UI again to show you how this would play out. So let's bring in the video. The easiest way to do it is to first create the audio for Rick. Let me put that in there and then only output the frames up until just after he would be done talking. So I'll go to about 100 frames, and this is what I get for it. Damn, who's that? Then, for Anna's part, when I record the audio with Eleven Labs, I'll just record it from the point of where it cuts to her. Then, when I output it in Face Fusion, I'll start the frames at the start of her shot, which is at about the 90th or 91st frame. So then I get this output for just her. Don't trip, don't trip, please don't trip. Everyone's watching. And then now once I combine them both together, here's what we get. Damn, who's that? Don't trip, don't trip, please don't trip. Everyone's watching. This one I have to show you because I was very surprised with the outcome. Considering the ones I've already done, I really didn't think a video that already has the person talking was going to work well. But I guess this is where it comes down to using the correct audio source for the correct target. Again, another clip from Outcold. There's something that I have to say to you. And now with the audio lip synced and the face enhancer turned on, we get this. What the hell is even that? I thought it turned out pretty good, all considering. But one of the things I really wanted to try was replacing foreign audio with translated English and have the subject's mouth work with the new audio. Now we know from previous attempts, including the last one, that it can be a bit tricky when the mouth was already previously moving or even just smiling, but I found this simple random video that I thought I'd give a try. I'm pretty sure it's Russian. I'm pretty sure she's saying at the beginning, 
everything was perfect until you showed up. So I fired up the old 11 labs again and made another audio. And here's what I first got without face enhancer turned on. Everything was perfect until you showed up. You can see it's trying to do the job, so let's see if face enhancer fixes it. Everything was perfect until you showed up. It does a bit, and it's easy to tell that the syncing is working. It's just a bit messy from the previous mouth movements. It was around this point after messing around with the new tool that I started to figure out a few other things. Let me start by showing you one that really didn't work well at all. And it was super simple, so it was kind of surprising how bad it was at first. Here's the original. And here's both the lip sync and lip sync with face enhancer versions. I bet my walkies. It looks like one of those old bad sketches on Conan O'Brien. Welcome, uh, welcome, sir. Hello, Conan. Where a random mouth was cropped onto a famous person's face and it didn't match up at all. But here's the part that I figured out that I maybe should have already known. So here, let me show you. Get rid of these. So as you know, here's where you drop the audio, and before 2.3, it was where you dropped the picture for the face swap. Guess what? You can drop both audio and a picture at the same time. So let's do that and turn on face swapper. First, let's bring in the video. And I know it's only like the first two and a half seconds of this, so let's see, it's 30 frames. Put that down to 75 frames and then turn on face swapper. And then you bring in the image that you want to swap it with. For this, I will be using this beauty and the audio. So have them both selected, drag and drop them into here, and then we'll render that out. You can see that face swapper actually takes place after the lip syncing, and that's by whatever the order is up here, that's what that means. So it goes lip syncer, then face swapper. And if I had face enhancer turned on, then that would go to this point. So it's left to right, then down. Anyway, so now with face swapper taking place after the lip syncing, the swapping will hopefully clean up the weird mouth movements. So now with face swapper turned on, both with and without face enhancer, here's what I got. I bet my walkies. Such a huge improvement. So of course, this means I have to see how well it works with some of the other clips I've already done. And you can use any images you want for the face swap, but that also includes images of the original subject so that you can keep it as the same person. And so now we get Keanu Reeves as Pigpen and Out Cold. What the hell is even that? In the video that was originally in Russian, here's the English translation with Anya Taylor Joy. Everything was perfect until you showed up. The grinning smiling girl seems to be improved quite a bit, but those huge teeth still put up a challenge for the new lip sync. Class, in what year was one plus one? The answer is the amazing Ralph. And now for one more translation video attempt. This one with the beautiful Anna de Armas. Here's the original. Baila conmigo. And wow, if I may say so, this one turned out fantastic. Will you dance with me? That turned out so good, I have to see it again. Will you dance with me? Really, the only problem I see with it is that it's just not her voice. I think that's all I'm going to try out for now. But there are a few things I'd like to see added to this new feature. It would be really nice if you could tell it when to start up when doing a lip sync. I can have a 30 second clip and the person or dialogue I want lip synced isn't until 15 or seconds into it. So if you could say that the audio lip sync starts at frame 375 or whatever, that would be very helpful. Another is that I'd prefer a separate audio and image source box. It's confusing as it is right now and would especially be nice if you could bring in audio separate from the image source. I generally don't keep my audio and images in the same directory or even close. So selecting them together right now adds one more step of putting them together in directories. But even just to be able to switch out the image without having to switch the audio each time makes a lot of sense. But really, I think this is a great new feature for Face Fusion that I think will get a ton of use. I know I will be. 
If you'd like to see a video about Eleven Labs and how I did the audio for some of these lip syncs, or if I missed anything, or if you just have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And I would absolutely appreciate it if you would please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.